What's going on, Doc and Fam, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to boost the super attack of Super Intelligence Super Saiyan 3 Badok from 1 to 10 without using any Elder Kai. So this man right here, guys, I was so excited when this when Badok finally came to Global, and I was like on my last multi summon, and I was able to pull him. He was the last unit. Uh, he was he was my GSSR on my last multi summon when I basically ran out of stones and I was so pumped to get him I was gonna be so salty if I didn't. <laughs> but just so you guys know, it's real. If the banner is still around, it's really good to summon on that banner because the units that you're going to need in order to boost his super attack without using Elder Kai's um, is this one right here, okay? And it's the Super AGL Super Saiyan Badok. So hopefully. You guys knew that Super Saiyan 3 Badok was coming and you've been saving these units. Um, but if you haven't, now you know and now when you get them, you can start saving them. So, in order to boost his super attack, obviously we're going to have to dock and awaken this Badok unit. So let's go through that real quick. So we're going to go to awaken. And obviously the unit starts off as a level 1 SR. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to training and you're going to have to boost that level from 1 to 60. But then as soon as you do that, you're going to go into Awakening and it's going to take 20 Gregory Medals, 10 Grandpa Gohans, uh, 5 Korins, and 1 Kabito Kai. And as soon as you have all those medals, it's going to cost you 560,000 Zenny. You're going to Z Awaken him and he's going to turn SSR. Then once the unit becomes SSR, you're going to have to start grinding out Bardock's event, okay? And so Bardock's event is this event right here. It's the Super Awakening in the Gap of History event, the Unknown Battle, and obviously if you can do Super 2, you get 7 medals at a time. Um, if you do Z Hard, you're going to get anywhere between like 3 to 6. So to do it as fast as possible, you're going to have to do Super 2 because you're going to need 21 of these Bardock medals in order to awaken or dock and awaken your AGL Bardock. Now the best teams that I have used for this event to clear it as fast as possible have been my, monos, my Mono Super AGL team or you can use a Resurrected Warriors team with um, Int Golden Frieza, Int Angel Golden Frieza as your lead and try to find another friend who has Int Golden Angel Frieza as their lead and you should be able to clear the event really easy doing it that way. So just some, some hints for you guys when doing this event. But once you gather the medals, you're going to go back to Awakening and you're going to find your SSI Bardock that you just awakened and then it's going to take 21 of these medals and then as soon as you dock and awaken him he will turn into an AGL Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. But you're not done yet, so stay tuned. So here's the man right here, which by the way I think that e the, the, the Int and AGL um, image looks friggin amazing for Bardock. As you guys know, Bardock is one of my favorite units, one of my favorite characters in Dragon Ball. So here he is guys, this is what he turns into. He turns into Saiyan Counter-Attack Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. However, you're still not done. Because if we go to training, and then we click on our Int Bardock, just right here, you'll notice that when we go to training partners, the one that you just made, SSI, will only give you a 50% boost. So if you want to take a chance and do 50 percenters, you can do that. But if you want to make it 100 percent, you have to you have to UR the unit, okay? And then in order to UR the unit, we'll go back to Awaken. We'll click on in, uh, the one we just made to SSR. Where is he? And now obviously his level's one, so you'll have to go to training and max out his level first. But then in order to awaken him to the UR level, you're going to need 50 Gregories, 20 Grandpa Gohans, 10 Korins, 3 Kabito Kais, and 1 Elder Kai. And it's going to cost you 1.8 million. So 875, 1,875,000. So it does take up quite a bit of Zenny. Those Elder Kai medals aren't easy to come by. However, if you're free to play and you don't have a lot of Elder Kai's, you don't do a lot of the summoning events where you get them for free, this is the best way to do it. Now I'm actually 
going to dock in him, but I'm not going to feed him into my, my intelligence badock. I've actually been working on the AGL because as a standalone unit, that AGL badock does really well as well. So in my opinion, yes, feed, feed them into your, your int badock if you have him, but even if you don't have the int Super Saiyan 3 badock guys, it is definitely worth doing the grind because you're gonna get a lot of those Super Saiyan Bardocks from not just his summon event, uh, not just from his banner, but from every single banner that you summon on. Chances are you'll get one or two of him. Um, and then what I would do is start feeding dupes into him, open all of his hidden paths. As you can see, I have one left. That was the one I just awakened. And then I already have his super attack to 10 because I've been holding on to this unit for about four or five months now in anticipation for Super Saiyan 3 Badoc. But if you do have the intelligence one, obviously guys, that's the unit that you want to make sure that you feed those, those dupes into because he does have a TUR and when he TURs, he becomes a really beastly unit. It takes 77 medals and then it turns into this guy right here. And then he's got the category lead, Super Saiyan 3, category key plus 3, uh, HP 130%, attack and defense 170%, um, or super int type key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. And then even his passive skill and his super attack, he causes immense damage to the en to enemy with a medium chance to seal super attack, which is incredible. And then for his passive skill, attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack, all super class allies attack plus 40% when HP is 70% or below. So he is just, he's just a monster as not only a unit on your team, but also as the leader of the Super Saiyan 3 squad. So if you have this unit, get his super attack maxed out as fast as possible, use the AGL Badox if you've got him, and then grind the event and TUR this man because you are gonna be so happy you did when you make a boss Super Saiyan 3 team. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Good luck grinding out that super attack, and as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.